Hello and welcome to Weekly News Highlights and I'm with you Asad Zaman Ripon. Here are the top stories for the weeks. Shakari Bajar in Old Dhaka will celebrate Durga Puja this year as the local Hindu residents decided to step back from their previous decision. They had earlier decided to boycott the celebration in protest against a government decision declaring 142 buildings located there as heritage properties. Ududas convener of Shakari Bajar Land Protection Committee said the government had assured them of reconsidering the session and there is no problem in celebrating Durga Puja this year. He said all necessary preparations for the celebration have been made. After the declaration of heritage structures, owner of these 142 buildings are neither able to construct new buildings nor renovate their old houses. Boycotting puja was not a political decision. Udu does also say the celebration is social and so we don't have any problem in taking part in Durga Puja celebration. The 11.7 km long Mel Mahmud honey flyover open to traffic is a gift to the residents of capital Dhaka ahead of Eid al Azha. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said she also opened Bangladesh's largest flyover on Friday afternoon. It is named after Dhaka City's first elected mayor. This flyover is a gift of Eid al Adha for the city dwellers from the Army League. She said at the flyover's opening ceremony at Osmani Memorial Auditorium. The Prime Minister said the Kurul flyover opened to traffic during the Ramadan was an Eid al Fitr gift to the residents of the capital. The Prime Minister hoped the newly opened flyover would significantly reduce the city's traffic congestion. The Prime Minister said the flyover, a public-private partnership project, adhered to international standards. Road communications with 30 southern and southern western districts would become easier with the flyover in place. She said the Jatrabari side about Gulistan, Fulbaria, Palachi Road has been upgraded to four-lane highway with modern facilities. Bangladesh will celebrate Eid al Adha on October 16 as the Dilhas moon has been sighted. The National Moon Sighting Committee made the decision at a meeting on Sunday evening at the Office of Islamic Foundation in the National Mosque, Bait al Bakaram. Islamic Foundation's Director General Shamim Muhammad Afzal said they had received news of moon sighting from Gaibanta and Takagao. He presided over Sunday's meeting in absence of Minister for Religious Affairs Shahjan Mia, performing the Hajj in Saudi Arabia. Countries in the Middle East, including Saudi Arabia, will celebrate Eid al Adha on October 15, as the moon was sighted there on Saturday. Eid al Adha commemorates the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim to follow Allah's covenant to sacrifice his son Ismail. All Muslims now sacrifice animals. The day of Arafat, the most important day of pilgrimage, will land on October 14. According to Saudi Arabia's announcement, it falls on 10th of Dilhat, marking the end of Hajj. Report from Al Arab. All major development projects, including Mir Muhammad Hani flyover, were taken up during BNP rule. The party's leader, Sadiq Hussain Koka, has claimed. The BNP leader has alleged that prison government hijacked the projects and is passing them off as theirs. In a press conference on Friday, after Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has opened the Muhammad Hani flyover, Koka said the Jatrabari project had been taken up during former Prime Minister Khalid Ajir's government. Koka also said it was the country's ever first project under the private-public partnership model. The adoption of the project proposal, the floating of tenders, the sanctioning of the plan and funding were done during the government. With 40% of the work being completed during hard tenure, he also added Sheikh Hasina had passed off the completion of an ongoing project as the success of a party. With only a few days to Eid al Adha, cattle traders are setting up markets almost anywhere in capital Dhaka. One such market is just 200 years away from the Sir Solomonla Medical College and Hospital, better known as Midford Hospital. The Dhaka City Corporation South has leased the Armanitola playground for setting up a cattle pound ahead of the Eid. 
However, the market has spilled over to nearby areas. Traders started gathering animals on the bank of Buriganga, north of the hospital from Tuesday. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has questioned the purpose of opposition leader Khalid Ajay's Singapore visit. Her son has laundered money abroad and now she is Singapore to save her son. The Prime Minister also said her arch rival is getting back money son laundered to Singapore. The BNP chairperson went to Singapore on Wednesday for a health checkup. Ruling Army League leaders have been claiming that her last visit to Singapore had a different motive to one than the party stated. At Thursday's rally in Jamalpur, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina again alleged that the opposition chief was desperate to save the war criminals as she loves to have them as her allies. The BNP has failed to give the nation anything other than militancy, terrorism, corruption and ill governance. She also said those who lied about the Kaaba, set fire to mosque and burned the Quran can never be Muslims. Later, she inaugurated several development projects from the rally stage and laid foundation stones of several projects. The opposition party BNP has accused the government of creating a civil war-like situation in the country in a bid to avert the next general election. The party's standing committee member Rafiq Islam Mia made the allegation at a discussion organised by Desh Premik Nagarik Party at Dhaka Reporters Unity on Friday morning. Rafiq said people are doubtful about the next election being held against the backdrop of senior government advisers who are calling for continuing the ongoing parliament session beyond its schedule and on October 24. Those are the top stories of weekly news highlights. Thank you for watching me. Please see us again next week in the same time. Allah Hafiz.